PPE for those in the airway teams who are exclusively reserved for this PPE for those who are directly in contact with the patient and have a risk of aerosol through the patient's mouth or subsequently through a tube. So we're going to start with donning. We've decided to use the coveralls and in the, in the anaesthetic department first when we get a call we don these coveralls just put them on put your shoes on and then don over shoes so then i've laid out the equipment that we're going to wear from left to right. So again, this is in the anaesthetic bay, uh, in the anaesthetic department before we go to the to the second stage donning procedure. So we're going to start with the 3M6800 series mask. On your face first, pull the straps over to the back of the head. And then have your buddy check, tighten the straps, lower straps first. Tighten the upper straps. Place your palms over the aperture and inhale to test the fit. Okay, so that's a good fitting mask. Next, we're going to put the hood over the mask. No, stop. We're going to put this Bluetooth bone conducting headset over the ears, ensuring that the transceivers are over the zygomatic arch because this doesn't, doesn't transmit sound, it transmits vibration. Now put the hood over that. Have your buddy check your seals all the way around the rim of the mask. Chin up and buddy assist with the zip. The 3M have a bit of sticky section there. You may use a piece of tape. I don't think it's totally necessary, but it might, it might add an extra, an extra layer, but also another complication. And then fit that up to the bottom of the mask so you have a seal, because in a normal gown, your neck is exposed. Okay. The next phase is sterile surgical gloves. And ensure that they go as far up your gown as, you, as your coverall as you can. And then have your buddy. We're using surgical gowns, but if you haven't got surgical gowns, you can also use. The, uh, the, the routine gowns that you have. So have your buddy do up the Velcro or tie at the top. Undo the sterile tie and only use this one. Don't use that inner tie, otherwise you can't get it off without causing a plume. All around the side, do it up in a single bow that's easy to undo. Next is your outer gloves. Sometimes these can be tricky to get on over your gloves and I've found that the hand sanitizer can lubricate that. And there we have it. Now we'll go to doffing and every step has to be uh, interrupted by hand sanitizer. The first step is removal of the outer gloves. Into the bin. Sanitize. Next step is removal of the gown. So reach around and under that single bow and then just stretch. If you have a Velcro, you can pull, reach around your shoulders and stretch it, or a gloved assistant can assist. Remove that carefully, slowly, inside out. You do have gloves on, but assume that you don't in case something comes loose. And we'll put that in the imaginary bin because we're going to reuse that. And sanitize your hands. So the next person is a buddy, is if you've got sanitized hands or preferably gloved hands. Place your chin up and assist, pull it out and unzip, unzip the gown. 
So then you carefully reach up, lift and retract, now rip from the front, lift and retract the hood. And then grabbing shoulders, cross shoulders, carefully peel that gown down. It might be easy if you grab opposing shoulders. Can be tricky. Can't get it done. There you go. Okay, you just take your time and do it slowly. And just peel that off. So you guys will come up with it. after that if you have to. I taped them before and that's probably why they came off more easily. Okay, so hold that steady. Yeah, take them off. And remember, this was under the gown, so it's not as high of an exposure risk as the gown was. Grasping the inside of that, peel it off the rest of the way. Just hold your hands down, your legs, no, you. Mm -hmm. And then gradually take, take your shoes off. You might put down a blue sheet or a towel to step on. Dump it. Clean your hands. The next stage is removal of Bluetooth headset. Don't put your shoes back on. So reach up into the sky and reach over and grab the bottom of that headset, stretching out, lift it straight up. And that goes onto a table. We'll wipe this down for two minutes with an ISO wipe. Doffing the mask is very important because in theory this is all contaminated. So we're going to use the same procedure that the military used for the S10 respirator in their NBCB training. So what you do next is carefully flick the tabs on the lower straps to loosen them. Now run your thumbs under the straps, around the back, lean over, pull the mask off. It's counterintuitive, it's more natural to grab the mask by the chin and do that, and you'll smear your whole face with contaminant. And then carry the mask over, and put it down and we'll do a new video for cleaning. Thank you.